Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on January 31st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the world update. Starting out here, looking at the sun, our sun for today, the last 48 hours of imagery, large plasma filaments, looking at the incoming images here, huge on each northwest southwest northeast limb and we were observing it in the last video as well and we did have a small coronal mass ejection in the southern region looking at another light here you can see it but you can see those long dark lines across the northern and the southern regions those are the plasma filaments Another light here is showing the dark regions, which are the coronal holes. So we do have an earth, earth facing small coronal hole wind stream will be affecting us in the next three days. Looking here at the real time solar wind, still very calm. It jumped up to maybe 350 kilometers per second day, but that's about it. Looking at still zero geomagnetic activity. Looking at the annual spiral here. Very quiet sun energy right now. Schumann resonance. Kind of quiet right now as well with a power of 11. Got a little excitable the last couple days. That's for sure. Amplitude of 11, quality of 10. Looking here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. And we're going to start out here in Puerto Rico. As you can see here on the northeastern side of Puerto Rico right now, looking at an earthquake swarm. Many earthquakes throughout the day today, looking at about 20 or 30, with a magnitude between 3 and 4, pretty much. 3.2 to 3.9 ranging. And that was just after this large 5.7 in Guyana, north of Brazil, shallow depth. Also a 4.3 there, Chile, and as well a 4.3 Bolivia. So very active South American plate right now, up into the Caribbean plate, overlooking Australia, or sorry, overlooking North America. 3.1 there, White City, Mexico, and as well, Calipatria, Salton Sea. 2.6 reported there today. Still seeing a small swarm west of the Salton Sea right now. As well, minor earthquakes through Mina, or Stanley, Idaho, Mina, Nevada, the regular culprits recently, and as well, Hawaii. A steady stream of twos and threes. Mariana's trench right here, Mariana Islands 5.0, and as well a 4.9. Uh, Tuval, Indonesia, a 5.1, as well a 4.9. Those are the only large earthquakes reported throughout that region. And as well a 4.1 here reported in India, northeastern India, border with Taiwan, or sorry, Thailand. And as well a 4.9, two of them reported here in Iran. quiet through New Zealand and Fiji right now. Most of the action has been on the South American plate up into Puerto Rico. Looking here at the last seven days, you can see most of the white rings, South America and northward into the North American plate. 
deep earthquakes. We're just kind of waiting for some more, I guess. Um, it's kind of calmed down right now. Looking at the last seven days, not many earthquakes compared to the last few videos. But definitely an increase here through the Caribbean plate into South America and as well Antarctic plate. So you got lots of strange events happening through South America right now in regards to weather and as well earthquakes right down into the Antarctic plate. So stay aware and prepared. Just have a plan, everybody. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes being updated. Suiza and Ajima in Japan, Fuego, Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Era in Japan, Reventador, Ecuador, Sangay in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, Shivalush, Russia, Kluchevskoy in Russia, and as well Karangatang, Indonesia. And those, that's the most recent volcanoes being updated today. That's about 10 to 11 active and erupting among the 45 that are active and erupting. As well, looking here over satellite imagery, three tropical storms surrounding Australia and Fiji right now. Wow. Annie, uh, Banny, and Tropical Storm 13. And Trevor, I believe it was. As well, storms affecting most of North America right now. We have another winter storm that's moving into parts of the upper northwest Washington and as well BC and as well quite a wind event throughout Texas last night as that Colorado low developed and is still moving eastward and it's not really even really a Colorado low it's a Pacific low that came through and we're going to see that continually here let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Media Earth Media Mike overlooking home base Calgary Alberta temperatures are going to warm up just ahead some a large low pressure system that's not going to bring much moisture to Calgary here but parts northward through Grand Prairie and uh, Edmonton you will stay you will see some snow probably about 10 to 15 centimeters and then southward into the states is where most of the moisture is going to go but then behind this, watch for really cold temperatures to move in. High pressure ridge moving in over Alaska later in the week. So enjoy the little bit of Chinooks that we get here in Calgary. February is going to be a long cold month, I believe. Speed things up here and you can see uh, another low pressure system. Long range forecast developing there over Alberta. Could bring some moisture. But the big story this week is going to be the systems that are affecting parts of eastern Canada and the United States. Watch for a Pacific low to move in through Colorado again and up through Texas. Watch for a large nor'easter to affect, to affect parts of Ontario. And as well, the Atlantic provinces here with the Atlantic Ocean system that's going to be riding the coastline. But here later in the week, watch for heavy snow and quite a mixed bag of precipitation all across Ontario, South Central. Could be very dangerous, so heads up family in Ontario. And then here's the big cold player overlooking Alaska. It's going to send these systems southward still. And then watch for some very cold temperatures to follow behind coming into February. Follow these systems around the planet and low pressure system affecting the United Kingdom for the next five days, spawning off most of the low pressure and moisture from the Atlantic eastward into parts of Central Europe and northward. So snow, heavy snow, low pressure system affecting parts of Finland and south into Norway but as well, higher elevations throughout Turkey and Mongolia. Watch for heavy snow. Looking at the cold temperatures here over Siberia and northern China. Watch for a large low to develop over China and move into the Pacific later in the week. Still just very interesting systems that grow 
and continuously spawn here in the Pacific. Strong high pressure ridge. Watch for heavy snow mounts throughout Kamchatka, eastern Russia, and as well northern parts of the Japan Islands. Overlooking South America, not much to talk about except daily evaporation of rain. Except for Argentina and Chile border, watch for another low pressure system to affect you guys here and then spin off the coastline and will bring some extreme weather to parts of Buenos Aires and coastal regions, South America, east coastal regions. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains, heavier through parts of South Africa later in the week. Overlooking India and Thailand, pretty dry throughout. Monsoon rains continuing through parts of Indonesia, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea. And now affecting parts of northern Australia as we've got the one, two, three, four systems affecting you and three cyclones surrounding you right now. And especially watching the five day forecast parts of Western Australia, that low pressure system for the next five days is just churning and churning and churning. So cyclone affecting Fiji and some pretty sizable and wet low pressure systems affecting all of Australia in the next five days. We're going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern temperatures, low pressure systems. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. Much love to you all, and thank you for all of the new people joining the family. And thank you, all of the generous donators and memberships. God bless. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.